Uncovering destinations for cheese lovers everywhere. I do think it's the perfect lunch. This snack is a cheese lover's dream, I would say. The mac and cheese donut is definitely a cheese lover's dream. Throughout the streets of Massachusetts. The cheese, it really puts the whole sandwich together. Kicking us off is Say Cheese, a gourmet grilled cheese food trailer that boasts an extensive following of dedicated fans. My favorite is the Caprese. I feel like it's a perfect balance of cheese, tomato, basil. She puts a little balsamic on there. Whenever they come to the town food truck thing, I have it on my calendar and an alarm to remind me to go. <laughs> Michael, the meatball one and a fig and goat. Enjoy. At the helm of Say Cheese is Terry Goulette. One winter night, I was making dinner and I had um, a loaf of Italian bread left over from the night before and I made a grilled cheese with blue cheese and cheddar with a pot of soup and I said, this is so good. I'm gonna try other recipes with fancy grilled cheeses. Her menu has grown since then, but that initial grilled cheese that started it all remains. The Wedge. It's really good, it's the first time I've had it. Aside from the wedge, Say Cheese offers a unique menu. Yeah, it's amazing. From just cheese, a plain ooey gooey grilled cheddar cheese, to the fig and goat, a goat cheese fig and arugula sandwich, to the pickleback, a grilled cheese stuffed with dill pickle chips. There's definitely something for everyone. Um, a night like tonight, we'll have a lot of kiddos and they'll get just a grilled cheese and then their mom might get a fig and goat with bacon on it and really, you know, go for the gourmet. There is a rotating special every night. On this day, it was the meatball one. I like the meatball one, please. A sandwich crafted with mozzarella cheese and a homemade meatball sauce. Look at that bad boy. A big hit among this Shrewsbury crowd. 10 out of 10. What's a grilled cheese lunch? What can I uh, grab for your cheeses? Without a charcuterie snack to go along with it. We are in Cured. We're a fast, casual, build your own charcuterie concept. Folks can come in and get their own charcuterie boxes to go. Jilly Rosnick started Cured in Beacon Hill after graduating from Boston College. She was inspired by her time studying abroad in Madrid. Everyone in Europe eats so much charcuterie, and so I learned a lot about the product there. But I also really liked what it symbolized, which is it uh, you know, brought people around the table. Guests can choose from a selection of different sized boxes to make their charcuterie. So this is a like ricotta. For the plain one, we would put like an apple pot filling. Cured's selection varies based on the season. Right now, they have a pumpkin spice ricotta. Rosnick prides herself on using local creameries for her cheese selection. So as a company, we have a mission to source a lot of our product locally, really about kind of putting the spotlight on the, the makers and creators behind the foods. Boxes are not the only thing Cured sells. The single serve charcuterie cup allows people to truly grab and go. You can think of it like I guess like an ice cream cone for meat and cheese. Um, and that's one meat, one cheese, one side, and a cracker. It's really just meant to kind of be like the ultimate snack. There are a select number of pre-designed boxes like the Banksy and the Basquiat. But Rosnick says the staff at Cured is there to help you make the perfect custom box or cup. This one's like really good as spice tonight. Need more cheese? The answer is clearly yes. We put it right into our fry later. This cheese-filled day is coming to a close at Civility Social House in Somerville with their famous mac and cheese donut. Chef and owner Chris Damien opened the restaurant in January 2023, and the donut was an instant success. That idea has been on the radar for me for many, many, many years, and I didn't really have a venue where I really think it would be able to be pulled off and accepted. This place to me sounded like, let's bring back that idea of the ingredients that you enjoyed home life with, like mac and cheese and things like that. But with the popularity of the donut craze, I figured if I blended the two ideas together, we might come up with something. The restaurant team makes batch mac and cheese and then cuts it into the shape of a donut. It's then breaded in panko and deep fried. But that's not all. It's covered with a mac and cheese sauce, applewood smoked bacon scallions, and served with a chipotle barbecue sauce. Once ordered, guests are in for a treat. Oh my god, that looks so good. The tableside mac and cheese sauce pour. They love it. 
I mean, I've heard more positive things. It shocked me. I thought it would just be one of those dishes that people would talk about. It's the number one item on our menu by far. It was crunchy on the outside, and you had the gooey cheese, and then you got to the actual mac and cheese that was perfectly al dente. Um, it was really, really delicious.